Hello everybody, this is Kaizen here and welcome back to another 2-Tick tutorial. Now today I'm going to explain the solution to a problem that's been really bugging me lately and I could not find any good advice or help online, so I decided to make my own video in case any of you guys out there are having a similar problem. Now the problem occurs when you try to connect to a server. So right here we're going to connect to my KaizenCraft server, this is the one that I was having issues with recently. So when you go to log in like this, Instead of everything being fine and normal like it will be now because I fixed it, you'll get an error message that comes up. It's a Java exception error and it says connection reset by peer. So essentially what I'm going to do is explain how to overcome that problem. Now the first thing you want to do is get into your folders that show you uh, where all of your uh, back-end files are, so to speak. So that's like your world folders. Um, if you have plugins because it's a server or something, then that will be in there as well. Now for me, I use FileZilla because I do it through FTP. But for some of you guys, this will just be on your percent app data percent folder uh, back end. So I'm not going to explain how to get there today. There are plenty of tutorials and other advice on how to get there. But once you've got something like this looking up, basically you want to find the folder that's titled world. You see here. So we open that one up. Now when you open that, you should get something that looks kind of like this. And the next place you want to go is the player data folder. So we open that one up as well. Now what you'll be confronted with here is uh, this information all the way down here is everyone that plays on that server, it shows their UUID, that is their unique user identification number. Now, if you're not sure how to get that one, I can show you a useful website right here. This is mcuuid.net. A link will be in the description of this video. Now, all you do is go up here, type in the username of you or the person that is having this problem, and it will give you their full and trimmed UUIDs. So that's the way of getting that, and it also works in reverse in case you ever need to do that. Now, once you've done that, uh, you find this person's UUID in the back end. So if it was this person right here that's having the problem, you would right-click them and you would delete them. Now at this stage, I need to offer a warning. Once you do this, that player will lose all of their inventory items and their levels and that kind of thing, uh, and that will be wiped from the game. Now, I know this is a bit of a pain, but I actually do not know of any other way to fix this error. It took me a long time to get to the stage of fixing it just in this way. So the player may lose all of their things, and I know that can be an issue, uh, so you may want to just be aware of that one before you do this and uh, think of ways around that. But unfortunately, that is, as I say, the only way I know of fixing the problem. Now, once you do that, the next time the player logs in, they will be uh, logged in at the spawn area as if they are logging in for the very first time. And uh, that's why, obviously, they don't have their, any of their items and all that sort of stuff that will have to be reset, unfortunately. But that is a way of fixing the server. And uh, if it is your own server, then it can't be uh, too much of an issue because you can obviously put yourself into creative mode or whatever to get your items back and all of that good stuff. So just a quick one today, guys. Hopefully that helps if you're having this problem. Feel free to leave comments if you are having any further problems or anything like that down in the comment section. But for now, guys, as always, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.